So you know what's really hard to make? Creme brulee. So why not make creme brulee? I kind of really suck at cooking, but that doesn't stop me. I'm gonna cook anyway. I feel like that'd be, you know, something to make that I could easily mess up on, and I would have just a joyous time doing that. The only problem is that no creme brulee recipes are for one. They're usually for two or for five or, you know, more than one because nobody's as sad as me making creme brulee alone. And on one of the recipes that I saw, it said to cook on manual at medium pressure, and I have no idea what that means. So I found a recipe that is for five servings, and I'm just gonna cut it down to one. Which sounds pretty easy, except that a lot of things are measured in like, it's like six egg yolks, and I don't know how to get 1.2 egg yolks. So I'll, I'll figure it out, it's okay. The first step is to preheat the oven to 300 degrees. The next step is to beat the egg yolks, like just murder the egg yolks. With sugar and vanilla in a mixing bowl until thick and creamy. One. Radical. Two. I was only supposed to do one. So now I need six tablespoons of regular sugar, which I'm gonna put in a little bit. What exactly are you doing? More than one tablespoon. Here, why don't I just put in one and one fourth? A little bit of sugar never really hurt anyone. Just ask a diabetic. Now I need vanilla extract, but I kind of have none of that. There's really like nothing in here, so I really don't think it's gonna take long. And I also don't think this is going to turn out well. A recipe made for five creme brulees is not going to work on one creme brulee. There was a leaf in there. There was a leaf in my creme brulee. Nature may be beautiful, but not when it's in my creme brulee, except for the eggs. Hello, it's me. Um, so as you know, I can't do anything correctly, and apparently one of those things is use a whisk, because in this, I'm using a fork, and because of that, it literally takes me two and a half hours to mix this. Um, so yeah. And much like the plot, the brulee is thickening. Day 23! Give it up for day 2600. 54. Day 30! Okay, so it's pretty thick and fairly creamy. So the next step is to pour it into a saucepan and stir on low until it's almost at a boil and then remove from the heat immediately. This is gonna take a while, but that's okay. You need patience for creme brulee. You also need a spatula. So I'm assuming that I can stir this with a fork because I wouldn't see why not. And I also don't know what else you would stir it with. Okay, so we have our first emergency. Uh, I was not supposed to stir this cream. It meant the heavy cream. So I'm gonna put this back in here. Yikes. And I gotta do the same thing again, but with the heavy cream. The heat wasn't on. Baby, look at you. Look, it's so cute. What is it on? What is this? Paper. No, this isn't paper. Shiny paper. Oh, cool. Right, so now that this is almost boiling, I can add it to this, I don't know, goop mixture. And I already have this double boiler thing going here, which is basically where you boil the lower one, put something above it, because, I don't know, I don't, I don't really understand it. But that's okay, I don't need to. Blindly following directions has never led anyone wrong before, so I think I'm good. Which, ugh, what? My cat attacked the box, it's nothing. I'm not sure if I'm gonna take that off, but I'll figure it out when the time comes. Right now, I don't need to worry. I'm good. I'm scared that it's gonna like explode through the sides and shoot all over my kitchen, kill my family. But if it does, then I won't be around to be blamed for it, so. I feel like steam should be coming out. I'm kind of worried that it's not. Okay, it's time to move it. Where are my oven mittens? Okay, now it says to put it into an oven safe thingy. 
says to put it in the oven for 30 minutes, which... Shut up. 30 minutes. It is 11.30. I have set the oven to broil as instructed. It is time to take the cranberry out of the refrigerator. Be right back. Okay. Here's the cranberry. Or cran brulee. Uh, that little uh, thing there. The collapse. I poked it. <laughs> uh, to see if it was squishy. And it, it, it was squishy. So now, all I have to do is put some brown and white sugar on the top of this and broil it until it's like brown. So, I'm gonna go do that. The sugar has been applied and now it is time to broil. It says to put it in there for about two minutes and to watch it so that I don't burn it. So here we have our creme brulee. Um, it smells pretty up to par. Um, like sugary. I don't smell the almond extract, which I thought I would, but anyway, let's take a bite. I feel like creme brulee is supposed to be custardy and then like solid sugar casing on top. And that's what this is. And it tastes really good. Champagne be poppin', sister be knockin' in my hotel room, come through. 